Hey, what's shaking, y'all? This is Noel Gordine. You're watching N Bucket TV, baby. Keep it locked. Point nine WERS and it's live music week folks get excited in the studio with me I have the very talented Noel Gordin how are you doing today Noel I'm doing great I feel so blessed it's, it's good to be here with y'all oh we're very excited to have you here appreciate it now for those of you that don't know your debut album Fresh the Definition comes out officially April 12th right. do you want to tell us a little bit about the album how you got started yeah yeah it's actually my uh, sophomore album uh, um, but I'm, I'm really excited because it's a new home for me, new label, Mass Appeal uh, Entertainment and, uh, you know, distribution with E1, uh, E1 Music. So I'm really, I'm really excited because I have new management. It's like a, it's like a brand new me, you know, hence the title, Fresh the Definition. So I'm really excited for everybody to hear the new music. Uh, you know, the, the difference for me is like the, the organic sound, you know, live instrumentations and all of that, you know, implemented this time around. So I'm really excited. Mm, very nice. So it's a new you. You're yeah. looking fresh. You're feeling fresh. It's fresh the definition. Right. Tell me what motivated you to start this album. Well, it was, uh, you know, just having the music in my soul, you know, uh, and I had, to, uh, I had to try to get it out to people because it just seems like the state of music, you know, is really kind of disappointing to me right now. So we have to try to bring it back to that pure music. And I'm, I mean, pure by people just getting in there. Uh, loving the music and the craft and just making good music, you know, from the heart and soul uh, concept driven, you know, uh, lyrics that can touch people's hearts. So mm -hmm. I felt we had to get back to that and here I am, you know. I feel that, I feel that because, you know, I'm excited to hear this first track, <coughs> Not Around, right, yes, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Really excited. We're about to get into that right now with Noel Gordine right here on 88.9 WERS. Yeah. Girl, I know we've been having rough times lately and, uh, I know you've been thinking about leaving me too, but I hope you don't, baby. I hope you don't. Girl, I'm not gonna send no more emails, no. And I'm not gonna send text messages, no, no. Girl, I'm gonna sit down with a ballpoint pen and I'm, I'm gonna write a letter to you. To say just how I feel Girl, I can't breathe uh. Girl, I'm lost like a ship without a sail And that's how I feel Whenever you're not around Baby, please don't Yeah Wow Wow, that was you, you want to know something? You want What's me up? to tell you how I'm going to describe that song right now? In Spanish, they say una belleza, and I'm that like, means beautiful. That uh, was absolutely beautiful. You have an amazing that again? una belleza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. That was so beautiful. It's 88.9 WERS, and we're here with Noel Gordin in the building, and it's live music week, so don't forget to pledge to your favorite music station. Now, let's get back into more interrogation. Cool. I know you're from Brockton, Mass, yeah. and also spent your summers in Mississippi. Oh, yeah. So how do these polar opposites, two polar opposites, how do you know you relate that to your music? Right. Uh, it's, I, I like to think that I have the best of both worlds, you know, because the quick, witty type thing of the city and then laid back, easy, you know, uh, southern uh, hospitality type thing of the south. So my family's from down south, so it was like, that's, that's what I am. I like to say that I'm, uh, you know, city to the heart, but southern to the soul. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, that it's the South is just what it is for me. I love the South. You know, yeah. just how hospitable everybody is, and it's just the feel of the South. You know. Do you ever perform there? All the time. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my spots. You know, uh, I mean Birmingham, Alabama, to Mississippi, to you know Atlanta, uh, okay. all over the South. So I love the South. What's up, my my South folk? What's up? <laughs> In the South. <clears throat> and who are your some of your inspirations? Uh, there's so many of them, but the, the music that got me into doing what I'm doing is the, the, you know, the music that I used to listen to in the back of my pop's old, uh, you know, Brown 71 Granville, you know, listening to the Sam Cooks and, uh, the Tyrone Davises and, you know, Johnny Taylor and Al Green, Barry White, you know, mm -hmm. all that music. But then, 
you know, I had influences from my brother's music, the New Jack Swing, you know, that whole era there, you know, with the Ready for the Worlds and the guys and, you know, all of that stuff, the troops and all of that. So I had, I had the inspiration from a lot of different places and it was just, you know, trying to integrate into my own style and, you know, put it out there. And, and hopefully at the same people time, bring yourself into it, right. into the mix. Okay, Still staying that. relevant, you know. I feel that. And in your search to succeed as, as an artist, mm -hmm. where did you start off performing? I performed anywhere I could get into, you know, uh, uh, bars. I was young, like I was real young trying to go into bars. And people were like, man, you're not even old enough. You know, we can't pay. I was like, I don't care about it if I get paid. You know, it was just, just having an outlet to be able to let people know that this was something that I was really passionate about. And uh, just getting out there as many places I could, talent shows, mm -hmm. you know, uh, events that the, the city would be putting on, uh, for, you know, charity events and things like that. I, I, I went everywhere. Mm -hmm. I went any and everywhere. No place was too small. You know, it's just because there's people out there that love music everywhere. So why, you know, why deprive? And, uh, I like that. It's all about the music. You Definitely. Know? Any opportunity you get. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're about to get into your next song entitled Beautiful. <coughs> now, I can't wait to hear this one. This one's a okay. yes, son. For real. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> it. All right, so this is Noel Gordine with Beautiful. I've caught you hot girl, sweet thing, and go digger. I've caught your chicken head and shawty or oh, hey that thickums uh, I've been disrespecting you with the same old lame excuse that I've been talking this way for so long girl <laughs> but that don't make it right to call you dime piece my jump off on my baby mama I've called you the B word the H word or anything else I wanna uh, and the sad reality is you don't hear this just from me It's everywhere you go all day long, girl And that's just wrong, girl So from now on I'll only call you beautiful uh, Beautiful All right that's Noel Gordine with Beautiful right yeah. there, fellas. Take notes. Take notes, fellas. <laughs> so, this is Live Music Week, and yeah. you're live here in the studio. Right. And you sound like this live. That's what amazes me, is that you are here live, and I'm hearing you, and it's not on an album, it's not on a CD, it's not on a computer, you're live right now. Right. And I, that is so great. You know, you're a great performer. I appreciate it. You know, it's, it's kind of crazy. It seems like uh, you have to use being able to sing right now with the state of music. It's almost like a gimmick, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, a lot of people know, know auto-tune and all, you know. <laughs> uh, but I always, whenever I'm on stage, you know, I have to do something my capella just let people know I'm not lip-syncing yeah. or something like that, you know? But I'm a, I guess I'm going to use the, the gimmick until it, it's no longer needed, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Work with in the future. Wow, there's so many of them. Mark Kelly, uh, I love Layla mm -hmm. Hathaway. Uh, Algebra is dope. I, I've been on the road with uh, Anthony David. He's a dope soul. Uh, um, Anthony Hamilton, that's my boy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, music soul child. Just everybody that's doing that pure music, music with a message, you know. Uh, concept driven music that's going to be around for a while not that I, li I, I like to say not that microwave music you know it's going to be around a, a while mm -hmm. so uh that i mean that's the movement we have to start because I, it seems like this music this soul r&b music is trying to get weeded out every year a little bit more you know it's got, it seems like it's trying to get pushed out and we have to create this movement uh, uh to, to keep it keep it alive because this music is so important you know Sorry. Do you feel like new music of today is microwave music? Yeah, I would, I would, I mean, in my opinion, you know, I just think we need to get back to that respectful stuff, just like that record, Beautiful, getting back to, you know, speaking positive about women. You know, we, we, we have to respect our women a lot more, and it seems like there's a lot of degradation going on in lyrics today, you know, that on um, music that is, is out there, like, and getting a lot of spin and a lot of sales and more power to you, but I just think we need to pull it back and mm, you know, make it, it a little bit better. Yeah. Okay, okay, so we're gonna get into the next song, The yeah. River. Yeah. Right this here is, on eighty-eight point nine. Yeah. Do you want to speak a little bit about it? No, this was my my one of my off my debut album. Uh, after my time, and this record right here was taken to number one on the Billboard charts. So, mm, okay. a very near and dear record to me, you know. Okay, so let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Growing up 
It was tough, we were glad for what little we had I saw my share of old fair Mississippi dirt roads and confederate flags Every day my father would tell me Son, run it, don't never come back That's where I left my girl That's where my heart is at and Oh, I held my breath when they tipped my head Then I came out shiny and new Found out about love in the back of my Impala where they laid my grandfather too. Down by the river where black folks gathered after Sunday services too. And how the river runs to the ocean, I'll be running right back. Now before I let you go, can I ask you one more question? Absolutely. Where can the listeners find more info about you and your album? Well, you could go to my uh, my website. It's noelgordine.com, uh, N-O-E-L-G-O-U-R-D-I-N. Uh, you can hit me up on Facebook and, and Twitter. It's the same, N-O-E-L-G-O-U-R-D-I-N. Uh, get back to me. I love to, I love to go one-on-one -on -one with my fans, you know, just to speak to them, give them a little insight of what I go through on a day-to-day, -day, you know, posting pictures and things of that nature. Uh, I'm going to be posting up all of my uh, show, you know, uh, appearances and show dates and things of that nature. So y'all get at me. Uh, it, I love to, you know, converse with my fans. That's what it's all about. Okay, and that's what it is. Yeah. Thank you so much, Noel, for Thank coming you. in and, and doing this for us. We really appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity. Make sure y'all check out my video as well. It's it's on uh, VH1 Soul. We got BET Centric. Check it out. It's on Essence Magazine site. Get the album, y'all, when it comes out, April 12th. Uh, fresh to definition. We got to support our own. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Mm -hmm. That was just Noel Gordine with us right here in the studio. And don't forget where you heard this live interview from, only on the secret spot on 88.9 WERS. We're going to take it back to the music now, so keep it live.